Thank you to the Patreons for supporting today's video and helping my editor Schmeichel to stay fed and watered. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Timberborn. As you know, there's a new update. Timberborn as Season 2 is well in progress. But today I wanted to crack out the old mods again and have a little bit of a play. So first off, we're going to create a new map. The size doesn't matter too much, so we'll stick with that, I think. So basically, we're just going to build a little river like whoop, through the middle. And actually down this end, we're going to make it a lot bigger. We want this to be like a bit of a reservoir. All right, so just put a water source along this edge. It's got a couple of little springs. One in there, another one in there. All right, so the map's made, so we're going to start a new game. All right, and here we are. Oh, God. <laughs> That, that's that's a lot of beavers. Uh, <laughs> they're all Patreons and YouTube members as well. Look at that. Love it. Right, cool. That, there's all my beavers. <laughs> that's ins I've never seen that many beavers in one place. Context is important sometimes. Uh, right, so I'm going to leave them doing that. I've sort of I've given them a lot of food, a lot of water. They should be fine for quite a while. Uh, what I wanted to do, as we're, we're in the mod mode, so I can, I can sort of do what I want. I want to make this a massive reservoir so that the dry season doesn't matter. So to start, we'll come down here into landscaping. We're going to add a load of levees, like along there. And then along the top, we're doing dam pieces. So the beavers can now get across if they want to go anywhere. They look reasonably happy over there, though. So this reservoir will fill up with water now. That's all good. And so the aim of this is I've always wanted to try and make, like, infinite power. And the trouble is, with the dry seasons, it's not ever really been possible. But if I have a large enough water storage, I can then pump that up with the new water pumps, which I haven't actually used yet. So let's check those out first. So if we head into water, we've got this, a mechanical water pump. Now, usually this is very end game. It takes a load of gears, a load of reinforced wood, and a load of steel, which all of that can take a long time to make. But we've got mods, so we can bypass that step, and we can pump the water up. However, you can see there, it takes 700 HP which I'm very disappointed that the devs haven't turned into BP yet to make that. So if we... Right, so that's what they look like. If we rotate... All right, I'm not too sure how these work. So does it actually say pumps water up one side and discharges it on the other? More efficient than a regular pump. Okay, so perhaps we need to use levees to make a sort of structure... So let's say we build, I think, I feel like we need some sort of reservoir-y water block thing. So if we do that, you can then shove a pump there. And then I think that will pump water up into this. And then can we pump water from there up? The only trouble is I think we're going to need, we're going to need beaver power, at least to start the engines. So right, okay, let's delete this and move it closer to the beavers. Right, I feel like as someone built this level in a stupid shape, we're actually going to have to build into the water. But that's fine, that's fine. So if we do levees, like along there. So we'll just stack this up for now. I'm not really sure if it's the right shape yet. Ooh, so it looks like our first one can be that high. Yeah, so it says it can pump up four. So maybe we can go one higher than that again, actually. Then we shove a water pump that... Oh no, is that is that too high? Oh, it might be too high. The straw's just out of the water, I think. Oh, okay, one second. So first water pump goes there. Our second water pump, we can layer this up by four or maybe three to be safe. I think we'll do three. And then I should probably like fill in the bottom. I don't want too much water to be stored. So we'll do this a load of time. This is going to be a lot of blocks. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend this in the non-modded game, I'll tell you that. So yeah, I'm thinking just two stories of water storage. So let's shove another pump there. So we might be able to make a staircase. The trouble is, we have no power currently. We're going to need a temporary way of powering these. So if we head into power, we've, we've got a few choices. We've got windmills, but we also have shaming wheels. And what better way to make use of all my beavers than using shaming wheels? So many hours later. Right, so we have we have power now. And look, our pumps are pumping. Uh, let's see how much power are we making in our network. 2100 out of 1400. So that means we can get away with one more pump. And then we may have to start using energy ourselves. But I've got a plan. I've got a plan. <laughs> so our aim here is to create infinite power. I have a plan. It's going it's to work. I'm confident. I've never really been confident in anything that I build in these games. But yeah, so we're going up by three. And then we've just got to do a lot of building. <laughs> 
So we're going to that level because we want to be two lower than the top. And that's just our little bit of water storage. And then this goes up to the same level, but then up by two to make the little basin -y thing. And then it would go up by four, but we're going to run out of power. So perhaps this is where we do our first sort of little test. So I will start building up just so I know what I want to continue with. Right, so we got that. Right, let's do the pumps. So we definitely can do a pump there. That will be powered. And I'm pretty sure that one, we don't have the power to do it yet. So that's just a future one. So we do the power uppers, which are those. And then we do the power crosses, which are those. All right, so let's just play. So these are all connected now. What's our network doing? The network power supply and demand is exact. So we can't add any more pumps, meaning we can't connect this pump. Also, I love I love the shape of this pump. It's very, very efficient looking in my professional opinion. I think we need to turn working hours up to maximum. So this is filling up. So this one should start pumping water soon. There you go. Now that's pumping water. Okay, the only thing I'm unsure of is the rate at which the water pumps. I don't know if that will make my idea work, but let's let's just see. So we'll, we'll pause there because we know this pump isn't pumping. So we're going to have to take the water from this one. And what I wanted to try... <laughs> Oh, it's going to take so long. It's going to be so tall. Right. So from, let's see there. I think we just want three wide to there. So if we do this a few times. We're basically recreating our aqueduct from the Timberborners season one. So if we go into power, we can shove a water wheel in there. Except we can't because I forgot how wide they are. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Right, now the question is, the rate at which the water comes out there, firstly, will it be okay? Will it stay, like, wet and running? Secondly, do I need to add, like, a bit more of a hill? I can do, like, steps every so often to sort of make sure the water keeps running. But first, let's actually put some water wheels in. So we'll do a low, maybe just five to start with, and we'll connect them up. Right, and then if we press play, we can delete these two. So now the water is running down there. They should start spinning. Yeah. Okay. So we should see the water come over this edge very soon. There it comes. Right. So the water is flowing. They are spinning, albeit not very fast. Yeah, I know they're making energy. They're making like 30 each. Oh, up to 40. All right. So we'll leave it running a little bit at full speed and we'll see, will this drop too much? Oh, it's dropping quite a bit. And... <laughs> Not ideal. It does mean we're going to need a few more of these than I originally thought. I just wonder, if we were to extend this and drop it down one, will that, like, give the water a bit of a bit of velocity? There you go. We've got a bit of a step. I don't know if a step will help, but no harm in trying. So we'll add some water wheels. Add the shafts. Connect them all together. Right. So press play again. And then when the water gets through, we can sort of see, will these go higher than 20? So this top one, they're all on like 22. These bottom ones, they are also on like 22. Okay. Oh God, I've just realized I flooded the map because I made a dam. <laughs> uh, oops. All right, so a bit of emergency landscaping. We'll just do a load of dynamite. We'll detonate all of those. Boosh. <laughs> and then we'll start laying the dynamite behind. Can I get this to, like, get triggered by it? No, apparently not. All right, detonate again. Oh, man, what a disaster. <laughs> what a disaster. <laughs> okay, the trouble we have now is this, this water here is going to dry up, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Why do I never think things through? So to be honest, no, it won't. No, it won't. Because if I bring my water back to this area, everything will be fine. Yeah, just keep going, Matt. You got this. You got this. All right, okay. So how is, how is this looking? 26... 22. Okay, so I think the step does actually make a difference. So perhaps we'll do five and then a step every time. So let's hit pause and build a load more. So we'll build over to here. And thankfully, this will take less and less time because we're not having to go as high. Do power wheels along here. I think we'll do a step down about there somewhere. Just going along here. There's a lot of clicking involved, a lot of clicking. But basically, I need to make 700 power. All right, so that's all connected. So if we press play. Yes, one by one. They're slowly moving. Not a lot, though. <laughs> all right, it's all halted. That's not good. I'm going to turn down the working hours. I'm going to let let the beavers sleep. Because, look, they're all, they're all literally passed out. <laughs> oh, look at those three. <laughs> that one's nearly falling off the map. All right, now they've all woken up. Let's up the working hours. Let's get them back to work. All right, so that's kick-started the pumps. 
So water is now moving up, and then it's coming through here. These, <laughs> these are these are not moving a lot, are they? Although maybe they are. They are starting to move. They are starting to move. So look, you can see water's coming around this corner now, under the barriers. If we just be patient. I think they will all start moving constantly. Because look, no water's coming out this end yet. It's got to there. Okay, okay. This is promising, actually. This is promising. Look, 2,800. We've already made the 700 we needed for the next pump. Which means, if we just do this for each row, we've made infinite power. Right? I think we have. I think we've done it. I think we've made infinite power. I'm going to continue building up. Shall I make one or two more pumps? So, let's get building. This could take a while. <laughs> Gonna be worth it, though. Infinite power is never a bad thing. All right, annoyingly, I built it a little bit too wide. <laughs> oh, so I did I did all of those for nothing. Whatever, I'm leaving them there. I'm not deleting them. All right, so water will get pumped up to there. Let's build the pump just so we don't forget. And then this is our canal with our power wheels. And my aim is to go all the way along to the edge of the map, all the way back. And that should drop down to there. All right, come on then, map. Speed build time. We got this. Speed build. I've decided it's definitely worth doing steps, though, because then I don't have to go as high... And then I don't lose as many brain cells. Right, up to there. And then water will come down. So we're going to want to go back. I wish I could do a little bit further with each row. Devs, <laughs> help me out. Because <laughs> that's not far enough. Oh my god, okay, I might I might actually be going crazy. But did that sound to anyone else? Where I just said, that's not far enough. Did it sound like that Christmas song? That's not far enough. I am losing my marbles because I'm doing lots of dams. Oh dear, I've gone really crazy. I am worried about my mental health now. <laughs> oh dear, what has happened to me? Right, okay, so what we're going to do here, we're actually going to block this up. And by the way, if you're thinking about commenting, saying, can I just use platforms because they're three high, you can't build a levee on a platform. Uh, very disappointing, because I wanted to build, like, actual aqueducts, not just these huge damn ones. But they're not possible, sadly. I did ask the devs, actually, could they change it? <laughs> but uh, it's something to do with how the water physics are calculated in the game. So sadly, not an option. Right, okay, so I think here we want to do that. Can you even see what's going on? I can't, but I think that makes sense. Now, <laughs> look at this thing. <laughs> now, if we, let's do, let's do the water wheels first. Man, the things I do for engineering. <laughs> the trouble is, I'm pretty sure I did the calcs earlier. To say each one of these rows will only power one pump, not two. So I think... I actually have to make them longer. And also, I haven't taken into account evaporation. I think the amount of water in my network will actually decrease over time. So we will actually need some fresh water coming in. We do actually have this little spring down there in our network. So maybe that will keep it topped up. Don't know. All right, to connect these, I'm going to do that, I think. And then I can just do the vertical power lift things. So that will connect into there. That will connect into that one. So this top row, if I just fill that in quickly so you can see how that all works, I can then just do there, there, and there, and that's connected it to the bottom row. So then I can just continue the bottom row like that. Nice. Yep. Makes sense to me. I'm probably going to get carpal tunnel from clicking so much. So this level difference, just two high power shafts with a little platform in between. Sorted. And then over here, this was my first staircase. If I just put a shaft in there. Beautiful. Right. I think we are all connected. Obviously, it's probably worth me doing more windmills, but let's just see how much power we get from this to see if it is actually a viable strategy. So we're going to have to fast forward a bit because we need we need the water to get to the top first. All right, so the water has made it to the top. You can see this is just about filling up. And once it does, the water will head down there and start turning all of these power wheels, which will create us power. So the water is up. Why aren't they turning? <laughs> Why aren't they turning? Oh, I feel like what's happened, it's not actually pumping enough water to the top. Because none of these are spinning yet, they're only relying on the power from the shame wheels. You can see this top pump is only running at 60% efficiency. So if we temporarily 
disconnect like a lower one or two. So this top one is now at 100% efficiency. So hopefully, assuming the water doesn't run out, there should be more water coming. Why aren't you spinning? Yes, look, look. These first few wheels are starting to move now. And then we just need to wait for the water to sort of make it down. All right, I waited a while. Didn't really work. New plan. We, Oh God, no, not that one. Not that one, Matt. Not that one. Not that one. We block the end of this up. We start to fill up this. I mean, perhaps we could even block that. Get a bit of a surge going. Trouble is, everyone's starting to die now. Oh, good. Bridges suck died. But yeah, everyone's starting to die. So we're slowly running out of beavers. We need to we need to speed up a little bit if we can. So this is our first barrier. We'll wait till this first bit is full of water. And then we'll delete these two. All right, so that's filling up nicely. So we'll delete that. And we'll delete that. So that will get the first load moving. Which adds a load of power to the network, which makes this one 100% efficient. Nice. Then we got water down this end. That's actually filling up quite quick. So we can probably unblock these. Yeah, we'll do it now. Get some movement in the network. That's it. That's it. All right, so you can see it's starting to move, but I think we've we've cocked it again. Look, it's all dried up there. Oh, balls. <laughs> well... <laughs> I feel like it was a good idea, and perhaps in theory it is possible. However, the dream of infinite power may have to wait for another day. I'd, oh god, oh god, oh look, we got we got water, right. Maybe it's, it's okay, maybe it is okay. Delete those, we'll then delete those. Yes, and we'll delete the end ones as well. We've got a power surge, we've got a power surge. Maybe I've rescued it right at the very seconds. We're making 3,000 power, oh we need to make 305, oh. <laughs> Okay, yep, probably not possible then. I don't know. Perhaps we can do it another day. Let me know in the comments. Do you think there's a better way of doing this? Should I give it another try another day? I don't know. But anyway, I will say thank you very much to the patrons for supporting the channel once again. And thank you, Schmeichel, for editing this video. Very kind of you. I feel like me going through all this pain is the least you could do for me, if I'm honest. <laughs> so anyway, guys, peace, love, and infinite power. That's not quite infinite yet. Yeah, it... We... No. <laughs> Bye.